What's up guys, Holen here, H Bomb Fitness. Um, so today I want to talk about a cool exercise I kind of figured out. Well, I've kind of shown you this before, but this is kind of a different variation. So, what we have here, this is my leg, alright, here's my foot. Okay, so this is an Olympic dumbbell. I really love these things because you can put Olympic weights on them and just load it up. So I put I can put like 25s on here. Hell, you could put like 445s on here. I, don't, I think the weight capacity is like 300 something pounds, so I don't know. But these are super useful um, for like loading up, uh, uh, you know, bar rows and uh, dumbbell presses, shoulder presses. It's nice because you don't have to buy 10 pairs of dumbbells. You just have this and you can um, add the existing weight. So what we're doing here, guys, is basically I'm setting this thing right on my uh, quadricep tendon and kind of insertion of the rec rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and getting that deep vastus intermedius. But the nice thing here, especially for tendinopathies, you know, um, tendinosis, um, issues with tendons, degeneration, etc. What happens is we get really clunky in there, so a lot of buildup, scar tissue, and that's kind of a result of, at least for me, is um, on this right knee is kind of poor biomechanics, um, you know, loading that knee, um, and too many repetitions from jumping, etc. So first, it kind of, the, the, the starting point is kind of figuring out the biomechanics of your injury. Um, sometimes it's just a simple... Um, not so much simple, but it's uh, the problem lies somewhere else, okay? But we want to address the symptoms. So, as you see right here, I just put this thing, plopped it right on my leg, okay? So, what's happening is I'm just getting massive amount, massive amount of pressure kind of through this tendon. And so, basically what you can do is kind of go side to side. Um, and that's kind of like a cross friction massage in a sense. You think of the fibers going up and down, this barbell is going perpendicular, so by moving it, you're kind of getting this cross friction. And it's important to go right at the insertion, as close as you can to the patella, because that's where the most um, stress is kind of put on at the end of that lever arm. Okay. Um, and another thing you can do is just let it sink in there. Um, that gets more of the musculature. Um, and that helps just kind of break up any other kind of scar tissue that's deep down there. Next thing you can kind of do, but it's kind of hard on with the Olympic dumbbell, is you try and take up the slack. So try and make this middle part spin. To kind of grab the skin, um, get that a little bit, but basically you just want to do that so you can get more of the fascia and some of that coll collagen fibers. Um, this one is unique because you can't really get um, the whole quad. And what I mean by that is I'm really just focusing on this um, really uh, this front part of the the knee um, it's really hard to kind of get up here because it gets thicker up here um, so the pressure doesn't really work as well but kind of at the end of the knee it works really great and so this technique is more for going out off going after the tendon issues opposed to the mu musculature is issues I would use that like a barbell for you know, more of a massage kind of deep tissue. This I'm trying to just go after more of the tendons um, because it's kind of specific. You know, I, I don't have too much movement here and I, I don't have a lot of room to move up. So I'm pretty much only, I only can go right here at this end part. And so what you want to do guys is just mess around with it. And so you'll see that you know, it definitely gets red, and that's good because collagen 
usually has a lack of blood supply. Not lack of, but it has a hard time getting blood supply. So seeing redness is actually a good thing because we're getting some type of blood to this area. And so let me just show you what um, you know maybe a therapist would do um, while treating this. So is your patella, you got your superior pole, inferior pole, medial pole, lateral pole. All right, so what a therapist would probably do is something like this, do cross friction or kind of use their elbow, get in there. Um, the thing about this is even though they have more room to get into corners, a little more specific, what the barbell does is that puts a lot more pressure. I can't get too much pressure with just my thumb here. Um, that requires a lot of work. <laughs> um, what the barbell does is just kind of does a global um, cross section of those collagen fibers and tries to just get them. So if I didn't have the camera in the hand, I would lay the lay this thing right on my knee. Okay. Now I'd use two hands to add pressure, but use it as kind of like a seesaw to add pressure, grabbing that skin as well as trying to do some cross friction on those fibers. So this guy is great for doing the tendon stuff, right at the insertion points. Um, it's hard on different parts of the body. Um, you know, you could do it on your Achilles, laying on your, um, laying on uh, your kind of your anterior shin side and laying it on here. Um, but it's great at the knee because you can you can have more control of it control the pressure and all that sort of stuff and so I just want to talk about why these tendinopathies kind of happen and usually it's because of the biomechanics okay some type of unusual loading patterns um, not actually they're not too unusual because they're happening more and more but think of the tendon issue as somewhat of a byproduct of something up going something else okay for me it's some hip issues a little bit of the flat feet um, so the knee kind of takes the toll on that but basically what we're trying to do here is break up those scar tissues those, those cross sections because when the tendinosis usually occurs you got the parallel fibers and they start to do crisscross not zigzag but just to elaborate it's kind of like they're they're just not in this parallel fashion so they all clumped up so by adding this cross friction with that or your thumb, it breaks it down and with the blood flow we can actually get some repairing going on. But with that repairing it has to have some type of um, biomechanical adjustment. So our loading patterns need to be in this parallel fashion. So no jumping with valgus knee because then these fibers get shifted and that's ultimately how those um, get junked up in the first place because our loading patterns and so our t our tendons want to adapt to the loading patterns so if I'm always having this valgus knee our um, tendons are gonna kind of pull this way that's how we get different patella issues etc all right there you go guys